Hello, welcome to how to solve this very nice exponential equation. 3 to the power x minus 4 to the power x is equal to square root of 12 to the power x minus 16 to the power x. We need to find all possible values of x. So, let's start by taking square of both sides. 3 to the power x minus 4 to the power x is equal to square root of 12 to the power x minus 16 to the power x and we take a square of both sides of this equation. Now this left side remains same 3 to the power x minus 4 to the power x whole squared and uh, this uh, square will be cancelled out with this square root. So, at right side we are left with 12 to the power x minus 16 to the power x. Next, 3 to the power x minus 4 to the power x whole squared is equal to this uh, 12 can be written as uh, 3 times 4 whole to the power this power x minus this uh, 16 can be written as 4 squared whole to the power this power x next 3 to the power x minus 4 to the power x whole squared is equal to by using uh, this rule of exponents a times b whole to the power n is equal to a to the power n times b to the power n. This power x will become the power of this 3 and become the power of this 4. 3 to the power x times 4 to the power x minus by using this rule of exponents a to the power m whole to the power n is equal to a to the power n whole to the power m. We can write this power x inside the brackets and this power 2 outside the brackets. Like this 4 to the power x whole to the power 2. Now here we have 3 to the power x and here we have 3 to the power x. And here we have 4 to the power x, here we have 4 to the power x and here we have 4 to the power x. So, we suppose that uh, this uh, 3 to the power x is equal to a and this 4 to the power x is equal to b. Let 3 to the power x is equal to a and uh, 4 to the power x is equal to b. Now, we substitute uh, a and b in this equation, then this equation will become a minus b whole squared is equal to, in place of this uh, 3 to the power x, uh, we write a times, in place of this 4 to the power x, we write b minus, in place of uh, this 4 to the power x, uh, we write b and this square will come here. Now, we move uh, this a times b and this uh, negative b squared uh, to the left side. a minus b whole squared. This uh, positive a times b becomes uh, negative a times b at left side. And this negative b squared will become plus uh, b squared at left side is equal to 0. Now, this uh, a minus b whole squared can be written as uh, a minus b times a minus b. And from these two terms, uh, negative a b plus uh, b squared, we can factor out negative b. Negative b as a common factor and in bracket left uh, a minus b is equal to 0. Now, as you can see, this expression a minus b, this expression a minus b is a common factor. So, we factor out this a minus b. 
a minus b as a common factor and in bracket left in bracket left this a minus b and this minus b in bracket left a minus b minus b is equal to 0 next a minus b times a this uh, minus 1b minus 1b will become minus 2 times b is equal to 0. Now from here either this expression a minus b is equal to 0 or this expression a minus 2b is equal to 0 and from this equation a is equal to b and from this equation a is equal to 2 times b. Now recall that we have supposed we have supposed that 3 to the power x is equal to a and 4 to the power x is equal to b. We have supposed that a is equal to 3 to the power x and b is equal to 4 to the power x. First in this equation we replace this a with this 3 to the power x and we replace this b with this 4 to the power x. Then this equation will become 3 to the power x is equal to 4 to the power x and from here we divide both sides of this equation by 4 to the power x. At right side we divide by 4 to the power x. So this 4 to the power x will be cancelled out with this 4 to the power x and here left 1. So from here we get 3 to the power x over 4 to the power x is equal to 1. Now by using this rule of exponents a to the power n over b to the power n is equal to a over b whole to the power n. This 3 to the power x over 4 to the power x will become 3 over 4 whole to the power x is equal to 1. Next 3 over 4 whole to the power x is equal to this one can be written as 3 over 4 whole to the power 0 and because we have same base at both sides so we can write this exponent x equal to this exponent 0 so from here we get the value of x is equal to 0 this is the first value of x this is the first solution of this equation so to find the other solution in this equation a is equal to 2b we replace uh, this a with this uh, 3 to the power x and we replace uh, this b with this uh, 4 to the power x then this equation will become 3 to the power x is equal to 2 times 4 to the power x and from here we divide both sides of this equation by 4 to the power x at right side we divide by 4 to the power x so this 4 to the power x will be cancelled out with this 4 to the power x and here we are left with 3 to the power x over 4 to the power x is equal to 2 and by using this property we can write this 3 to the power x over 4 to the power x as 3 over 4 whole to the power x is equal to 2. Now from here we take a natural log of both sides ln of 3 over 4 whole to the power x is equal to ln of 2 and by using this natural log rule ln of a to the power m is equal to m times 
ln of a this ln of 3 over 4 whole to the power x will become x times ln of 3 over 4 is equal to ln of 2. Now we divide both sides of this equation by ln of 3 over 4. At right side we divide by ln of 3 over 4. Now this ln of 3 over 4 will be cancelled out with this ln of 3 over 4. At left side we are left with x is equal to ln of 2 divided by by using this natural log rule ln of a over b is equal to ln of a minus ln of b. This ln of 3 over 4 will become ln of 3 minus ln of 4. This is the second value of x. This is the second solution of this equation.